It's long been our contention that the smallmouth bass is one of the smartest fish that swims. It's certainly a fish with great character, a curious critter to be sure, but also one that learns quickly and easily becomes conditioned to the common lure presentations and working methods offered by anglers. Well, why not offer up a big change of pace? That is, throw them a big sweeping curveball to keep them off balance and pique their curiosity at the same time. There we go. Decent fish. Now, this system that I'm going to show you here, it certainly is not magic, but it can be a great way to fish for a variety of species of fish. And basically, we're double rigging. I've got two jigs on here. Uh, this is a surgeon's knot, and I'll show you how to do this in just a second. But I mean, there's a variety of baits that you can use. One of my favorites happens to be the five inch soft jerk bait from uh, Berkeley, the Gull product, and a beautiful swimming bait. And again, it's two baits instead of the one. Uh, you can cast this a little bit further. Uh, it's a beautiful presentation in the water. Uh, it's one step maybe more tricky in some instances than just fishing the single bait. Um, it's, a, it's one of those things when the fish are conditioned, maybe you can uh, uh, th throw this out there and work it just so and catch some extra fish. Uh, it's also a very large presentation in the water. It's two baits, so it attracts more attention. So there's some distinct advantages for double rigging. This is pulls hard. You know these jerk shads, a five-inch jerk shad, used as a leadhead jig and fished as a jig is an overlooked bait anyway. And when it comes to double, I mean, it works in single fashion great, but in double fashion, I think it's it's really a beautiful bait. Where do you see these two worked together in the water? I mean, these are so beautiful, you know that it's going to work. And very, and depending on how you work the bait, if you, uh, you slow swim it and then jerk, jerk, slow swim it, jerk, jerk, you can make these things go left, right, left, right, walk the dog underwater. Uh, there's so many things that you can do with these double rigs that are almost irresistible to fish. So it's usually a combination of retrieves. Just a slow jigging retrieve interspersed with some of those snaps usually does it. There. Beautiful fish. Once again. Now one of the keys to this system is not, you gotta have a long rod. So seven foot, medium action rod, Fluger 30 reel, uh, 30 class reel, 10 pound Berkeley fire line is just about right. I've got a, about a, well it is a 15 pound uh, Vanish fluorocarbon leader on the end. You need the extra length in the rod to pump these two lures out there. Vary the weight of the uh, jigs uh, for different depths and I mean you can just like you do with everything else, you experiment with color, experiment with uh, some of the different plastics, some of the different gulp products and uh, see what the fish want. Anyway, come in here and I'll show you how to tie the surgeon's knot and put this together. Okay, I've got my leader right here. Now I've got about a two foot section of um, you know, just detached line. All you do is you overlap the bottom of these two lines. You take, and now you do the surgeon's knot, and the surgeon's knot is just an overhand knot, and you go through twice, so once, with the double lines now, and twice, and tighten it up. Now this leaves you with three ends. There's a top end right here, and there's two bottom ends. And it's these two bottom ends that typically you're gonna use to tie your lures on. Uh, you don't want these to be too long, maybe a foot and a half on the bottom, uh, no more than uh, a foot on the top, but basically often end up with about a foot on the bottom, 
and about six inches on the top. And here's what I've got. This is all, I mean, this works for crappies, bluegills, you name it. You can go right on down the line and you can present lots of different baits with this. There we go. Nice fish. Well, as I've shown you, you know, the double rigging can be a very, very sort of innovative way to approach, you know, a variety of fishing situations. It's not magic. Um, is that a nice fish? I, I love this fish. It's certainly not magic, but it's something with a little of a uh, little modification you can use for any species that swims, not just smallmouth bass. It's just a little bit different wrinkle to show fish that are conditioned to other kinds of pre presentations. And it looks dynamite in the water. It has a large presence. You can cast it a long ways. You can work it fast. You can work it slow. Hey, give it a try. It'll work in different situations for you.